Hey guys, this is Steven, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a realistic fog or smoke effect in After Effects without any third-party plugins. So let's get started. I'm going to make something that looks something like this today. We'll get around to what this looks like after, so let's start a new composition. And first thing we're going to do is create a layer new solid, and this can be any color that you want. Then once that layer is selected, go to Effect, Simulation, Particle Playground. And as you can see, there are particles in there, but they're not the direction that smoke goes, usually. So, we're going to open the Canon tab, and then the Gravity tab. Now, for the direction, I'm going to click the 180 and type in 360 so it goes straight up. And for the Canon, we're going to start messing with these settings. I'm going to turn the barrel radius to 200 just so it spreads them out a little bit more. The particles per second, you can do whatever you want with this, more or less. I'll keep it at 53, I guess. Direction, I'm going to have it tilting a little bit to the left, because that would be like the wind direction. You can have it tilt in a direction. You can turn up the randomness. The velocity is too fast, so we're going to change that to around 60. And that will just slow down the particles as they emit from the thing. And also, we can turn up the particle radius to around 8 or 7. Seven's fine. And then, to get rid of this red, all we're going to do is click on the red and drag it to white. Now, that doesn't look much like smoke now, but after you do Effect, Blur and Sharpen, and go to Fast Blur, change the blurry blurriness to around 90. And there you go. It's starting to look a little bit like smoke but it's not quite there yet. So what we're going to do is select the layer, hit Control D on it twice to duplicate the layer twice, and then we're going to mess around with the settings in each. So I'm going to turn a little bit of it up, change the direction a little bit, make the particle, ra particle radius bigger or smaller, maybe mess with the velocity, and do the same thing for the next one, just slightly changing it, just to give it a little bit of variation. All right. That looks pretty good. Now, you guys can mess with these settings however you want. It doesn't really matter. This is the basic smoke effect in After Effects, and you can change the color after this later. But if you want to get more realistic looking smoke, you can also go to Video Copilot and purchase Action Essentials 2, which comes with, you know, fire, explosions, glass, smoke, and atmospheres, bullet shells, blood, all the good stuff. So, you know, if you have a little bit of money, you can go ahead and buy that, or you can make this. Doesn't matter. But I hope you guys like this tutorial. Uh, leave a comment and like if you liked it. <laughs> Subscribe if you want to. Alright, thanks guys. Peace.